Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a big concern here in Canada for us ham radio operators. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Again, I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and it's a beautiful day here in St. Antoine, New Brunswick today. And I wanna talk about uh, a big challenge or I don't know, maybe not a big, maybe not a big challenge, but something of concern anyways for ham radio operators here in Canada. So I was watching uh, Global News this morning. Don't really watch the news on, uh, especially mainstream media these days, but I was watching Global News this morning and I read or heard a story, saw a story on the news that the price of stamps is going up in Canada. So I think the price just to mail a single letter, QSL card in this case, one by one stamp. I think it's a buck, either a buck 15 or a buck 25. I'll need to confirm that, but it's definitely a buck 15 or a buck 25. One of those those two numbers and a roll if you buy a hundred stamps uh, like a roll or I think maybe even a book of 50 or whatever is going up to 99 cents uh, a stamp now obviously Canada Post is losing money they've declared that on the news that they're lost 700 and some odd million dollars and they're going to run out of operating capital by the end of next year sometime and that makes one of my favorite parts of this hobby I'm now even more out of reach i love sending a qsl card so not only is the price of printing these cards going up through places like vista print and overnight prints the the cost of mailing them is going up now so if you wanted to send a postcard or a qsl card just within canada you're looking at a buck if you buy stamps in bulk that's even more if you want to send them to the u.s or international uh, i don't even want to get into the price of international stamps or u.s stamps uh, here in canada so this makes uh sending out electronic qsl cards even more advantageous now where um you know, you can buy a program like QSL Card Creator is the one I use, and you can send out electronic QSL cards that way. I think those are just as good, in my opinion. Some of the uh, the more veteran seasoned hams will di probably disagree with me, but really the art of QSL cards in the younger folks is dying off anyways. Uh, they much rather uh, use QRZ or Logbooks of the World, which is fine too, and nothing wrong with that. I like to confirm all my contacts on there too. But uh, I still like getting, I still really appreciate getting that paper QSL card or now electronic one. So I've done lots of videos on this topic. Uh, but yeah, the price of uh, postage is going up in Canada, which is a big concern. So let me know in your thought, your thoughts in the comments below. Are you uh, still going to send out paper QSL cards knowing that the price is going up now even more? And, uh, or are you going to kind of go more electronically? I'm, I'm thinking about getting one of those picture frame photos, electronic uh, photo frames and uploading all my QSL cards that I want to see on a regular basis uh, in there and just watch and look at them through there. After all, Sometimes it's worth the memories of looking and checking out the past QSOs. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Fox. Let me know in the thoughts, comments below what you think about the price of postage in Canada, uh, price of postage anywhere. And are you going to curve your QSL send, uh, sending habits because the price of postage is going up? Let me know by leaving a comment below. 7-3 everyone, Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. We're out of here.